Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're making doggy period pants. The size that I'm making is for a medium dog, medium sized dog like an um, stuff or something like it. Uh, maybe like 26 kilos, 27 plus minus I'm sure some will work but it's really easy and it's really simple to just take the measures from your dog and do it so the design is simple like a triangle top this between and this is the bottom and never mind these they're just something to give direction for me and then the strings from the sides and they come up like this like you see in the picture but first uh, the yarn I'm using this uh, cotton viscose linen but I would be preferably using using some kind of a bamboo 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 yarn for this cotton bamboo or bamboo or hemp or something that's a little bit like uh, antibacterial and sorts because it's going to this special occasion anyways my hook is I think it's my, might be 2.5 or 3 and this is maybe 3.5 or something sorts but I like to use the smaller one this says the 3.5 or 4 as in these needles but anyways let's get started first I'm going to chain 45 or 46 so you do the starting loop like that and then just one two three four five Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and forty-six. Chain of forty-six. Then uh, just uh, single crochet all the way back. So single crochet is pull through once and go through twice. And like that, all the way to the other side. So then there's the last one. Then here, chain two and turn. Now this row is going to be all double crochets. So from the first, yarn over, yarn over the this hook, and through, and pull through, and through two, through two. So every other line is going to be single crochet, and every other is going to be double crochet. And we're going to do this, and from the next one, every single crochet line row, we're going to decrease in the in these ends and 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 the beginning, in the end and in the beginning. And now for the this yes, double crochet all the way. Thank you. So now we in the end again. Then chain one on this uh, single crochet row in the beginning or end. Chain one and then turn. And now we're gonna start already decreasing, so we're gonna do so. Uh, 
and then just all the way single crochet and um, decrease again to into one in the end so again in the end these two one two and through all three then the next you can do normally but if you want to make it more so then you would decrease more but I think it's it's fine just every other every other and uh, this is now again the double crochet row so here you chain two in the end and uh, or beginnings and uh, chain, uh, do normally and then decrease on the single crochet line and do 10 rows like this so this counts now as one row so so that there's 10 of these and 10 of these and uh, we'll see you there okay so now there is 13 rows and uh, 21 here so now we're gonna do the this up until we make the tail like so without decreasing or anything just one one single crochet line one double crochet line do the straight thing for for three rows so this is all together 16 rows so i'm gonna make two more before the tail part two rows more so that there's total 18 so one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven that looks all right seven it is so chain two one two And then like so and turn chain one there and then we just do this side for like two rows or three rows no sorry five <laughs> five rows So this counts as one now. Chain two, turn, So, so that there's five, do so, see there. Okay, so here is one, two, three, four, five, and this is the pole, pole thing, pole, no, double crochet. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna cut the yarn here, and, uh, and it's so and then the other side seven one two three four five six seven insert the hook i just do like so 
one. I'm going to put three here, then just, this is a good place to hide your yarn, just put it there, leave it in between, you don't have to weave neatly to put in the yarn. And turn and make it so that it's like this one. This seventh, just put it in just somewhere there. Just somewhere there. And then make it. And then just chain two and turn and carry on. Okay, so here is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and it's the end of this. So then let's just chain one, turn, and uh, single crochet is this. Then how many is the one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So chain eight. Eight. And continue on the other side. Again, a wonderful wonderful place to hide the hide the yarn We'll start the increase. Increase. So chain two and turn. And now we're going to just make it, make it, make it. From this first, first already, so so double crochet rows to increase to two to one in the front, and then in the end as well, and then we can make a little bit, a couple of lines, a rows, increase on the, on the, on the next row as well. So it'll be a bit more like, like so, but it's however you want it to be. So, but I'm going to make a bit more on these first couple rows and then, then, but Either way, if you don't, it's fine. It'll be like this. It's sort of like this. So it's quite enough, but I want it to be a bit more right. So, so I'm gonna do it. Do it that way. So maybe like three rows 
one, two, three, or maybe four. I'm going to do the increases that you do as you wish, as you wish. And now when this comes, you just do on the other insert here and just do them like like they are so here in the end just two to this one and then I only want to make more just chain one and turn and again two to one so it's going to be a bit wider and the same here two so again here two last and then chain two and again make more and again on the other side So again, two to the last, and then I'm going to make this row still more, more, and then from now on, every other row increase. I'm going to increase on the single crochet rows from now on. So here is what, one, two, two rows and make eight of these and then, then we'll see where we at. Okay, so now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows like this. And uh, we're going to make the holes to where I put those. Those then. So it is very simple. Again, we're going to make it like we did this. So we're going to make three holes on each side here in the corners and then it'll be tied together from this in the center from the center and uh, yeah first just okay so here's eight rows one two three four five six seven eight and uh, this is the single crochet and then we're going to make the holes for the um, for the strings to put and uh, we're going to make it the similar way we did this so so first like just uh, like two here two on the sides then one between then three then one between then three no yes <laughs> or the whole thing sorry so first we do this
and I'm still gonna make the increase here and then two and again turn So now it's three. Sorry, the camera focuses on its own. Well, that's enough. So then we're going to cut the yarn here. Through one side like so. And then the next, leave one in between and then do the next. And go through to fasten it. And another and three, I'm gonna make three, I think it's better. One, two and three at least three let's do four it's better so four like so chain one turn Single crochet all the way. This is a bit like challenging, but just from somewhere. Somewhere there. Or not like you can. really loving the color of this yarn. It's, I think it's super pretty. Yes, like so. Again, cut. And then more, 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 one in between, and again to the next one here. Do the same as the other. So there's for three and then we're going to start the middle piece from here but first we're going to count what do we need to like leave on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is 12 and this is going to be the 13th, which is then this hole. So we're going to put a little sign here that tells us that this is like, like don't go any further. Then we can do the middle part. So leave one there and just do like these are done, but do this mark. So this depends, of course, how do you want to do it? You could make more of these holes here. Maybe it's better, maybe it won't. Because if you leave too much of a space here, it's gonna sag like like so then so you want to make it a bit so it comes from here and 
ties from there. But it's easy. You just make this like this, and then we're going to make the edge. So like so, and then do these just like the other side. So from here, in, fasten it, one, two, and take this off. And one, two, three, four. Just like the others, other side. Again, one in between. And to the next. And the last one to the side. So now it's in a in this that that we're here. And now we're gonna just make the single crochet and here do one like a chain one all the way to the other side. And then we'll get nice and pretty holes. So it's a single crochet. Crochet. I'm still going to make the two here. And two to, to the end. Two, three. No, let's do it. Sorry. I hope you saw, saw it, some of it at least. But two here, and then two more, and here chain one, and then jump. And here we have a beautiful opportunity again to hide the tail of the yarn. So we're going to take it, we're going to use it. And we're going to lose it, the yarn, we're going to lose the yarn. And here again, it's a nice place to just cut the excess off. <coughs> then we don't have to think about it later. So, chain one and jump. Single crochet. Again, chain one and jump. And the same goes till the end. Okay, so then just do the last two, two rows. So one double crochet and one single crochet. And these holes you just do like so. It's best just to do it like so. Don't try to just put it in there. Well, I'm thinking it's good enough now without the single crochet line because there's going to be a 
like a brim here. So from here, I'm gonna use this then to make the edges so that it's nice. But here we're gonna cut the yarn and uh, just end this. And the it looks like so now. Uh, yeah, pretty good, maybe. And uh, missing, but just from here, anywhere, and then chain enough. So that, this might be a bit too long, but this is 70. And then, sorry for the light, we're gonna make double crochet all the way back. So double crochet all the way back. Okay, so now we're back and I'm going to fasten this on this side. Choose a nice, choose a nice spot here. And then just slip stitch and another slip stitch. So then it's there and then we're gonna cut this and do the other side. Just like this one. Okay, so now they're both done, and then I'm gonna do the rims here. I'm gonna do it with this, and it's shape, yes, it's katana, this brand cotton. So, I'm gonna start here. And just pull it through, fasten it like that. And then just one, two, three. So these can be made like, like, however whoever wishes. You can do pico here and then to the next one. Sorry, it's a bit here. Like that. Oops. Oops. Cox. To the first. Or then it can be made just just like one, two, three, and to the next one, single crochet. One, one, two, three, to the next one, single crochet. One, two, three, to the next one, single crochet. One, Two, three, to the next one, single crochet, and all the way here. Okay, so this is the corner, so then just do the corner and continue here doing single crochet. 
Now I'm going to do a single crochet all the way around. And I'm even going to do these. So when this comes, I'm going to go here and come back here and this here and this here all the way back to here. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm done doing the rims and uh, when you're doing those just put two on here and two here so it goes nicely round and uh, this is the tummy side it's just fine and then these come like so down up down Like so. Cute. Ain't it? Yeah. Let's go see if it fits. But thank you. So you could have done this too, which is, would be kind of funny. And then here you could do something. A heart or a flower or anything but I think that they will work thank you for doing with me and take care see you soon bye